Welcome back. It's Alan from SpinX Vitality. Here we are with my Grappling Smarty 2.0 that never gets tired. Today, we're going to go over the very first sweep that many of you learn, which would be a scissor sweep from the closed guard. However, for those that commented that there's a lot of talking, not action, that's because in the 50 and over division, I'm in the 65 and over division, every single micro move that we make is as important as stepping on the mats. I'll say it again. Every single micro movement that we make is critical. You can't shortcut it if you go against a younger, stronger, more athletic uh, training partner you're not gonna be able to shortcut your moves. The only way to keep up with them, the only way to play defense, to neutralize and move to the offensive position is for the micro movements to be at super black belt level. So I'm going to digress just what you wanna hear and work on the cross collar grab. Cross collar grab, is where you take my right hand, as an example, and grab the same side collar. That's same side grab. However, if I take my opposite hand, my left hand, cross over, that's a cross collar. Cross collar, same side, cross collar, same side. We're going to do the cross collar grab setup just the setup. Imagine how nutty I am. I'm making a training video on the setup for the cross collar grab and getting it. Oh my, this guy's nuts. However, I'm in my 17th year and when I train with somebody 30, 35, 40, 50 years old and I get that cross collar grip, I'm 70% there. When I get the cross collar grab, I'm like a pit bull. They're not breaking my grip, and that will help me advance to the next phase. So, without further ado, here we go! Here we go. We're in the closed guard. I've got my Smarty. Thank you. And the first thing we do is we're going to reach up. No, I don't want to reach up because Smarty can block me. Easily block me. So what do we do? My legs are around my training partner called closed guard. Close the guard. Close the guard at the ankle. Doesn't matter which ankle's on top. Close the guard. If I don't want to reach up because I'm going to get pushed down by Smarty or my hand knocked away either direction, I bring my training partner to me. That is the single most benefit. You can turn this video off. You learned what you need to learn. Don't reach don't reach, bring your training partner to you by bringing your knees in to your chest. Now to further digress and further frustrate people who want action, not words, if I bring my training partner straight into me, boom, I'm gonna get hit in the chin, the nose, or the forehead. So I have two choices. I can bring him straight in and move to the side. If I'm using my left hand to go cross collar, I might want to go to the side. Bring him into the side, bring him into the side, bring him to the side, bring him to the side. In addition, I move my head. So to review, I can simply bring my training partner in, move my head. Or I can bring my knees to the other side. Cross over, cross over, cross over, cross over crossover. I like that better. It's easier for me as opposed to just moving my head. So we're going to number one, bring your knees to your chest, move your head out of the way, even make a swivel. There we go. Swivel. So if Smarty is up here and he comes in to the side, I'm not going to get banged. And look, oh my goodness, my left hand for the cross collar is right there. That's the first step. Knees in, either just move your head or move your knees to the side and head in the opposite direction. I like that one. 
Second thing, when you're down, let's assume that he's in closed guard, he's tight, I'm not reaching. But for the purpose of this video, Smarty's laying on me in a very clumsy way, so I've got to keep him off. Same hand, same side is going to be the helper. Helper, same side, cross collar, attack. The helper, most people don't even do the helper. They go right for the grip and that's fine. I'm clumsy, I'm slow, I'm not coordinated. I can't do that. So what I'm going to do, and all you out there that want to really take your game to the next level, same side grab, open the collar. Open the collar to make room for the cross grab. Open the collar. Now if you want to go deep down underneath and really scuba dive and go to the bottom of the ocean and see everything, what you do is rotate. Look at my Look at my hand. Rotate. Open. Expose the material. Open. Open. Elbow in. Close the hand. Now, there's a lot of material exposed. Take my cross grip. The longest finger goes in first. It's too tight, coach. I can't get my hands in. Another deep dive into the bottom of the ocean. Ooh. Ooh. Push it up. Push up slightly. Look at the room that it makes behind the collar. If I'm in the heat of a battle and I grab this, I'm pulling. I can't get my fingers in there. But if I go make a little noise, woo, <laughs> there's a slight room for me to get my, yes, get my fingers. And I'm taking my longest finger, the middle finger, I'm touching the back of the tag. Smarty's head is in the way, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I have to move it up. And I take a bite. We call it a bite. The bite of my middle finger is probably six to eight inches deep into the fabric. So I'm grabbing a lot of fabric. To break this is not going to be easy. Fingers in the, your middle finger in the back of the lapel, the back of the tag, Take a big bite, rotate where my wrist bone is under the neck. Now, if Smarty was alive, he'd say, whoa, whoa, just by bringing my wrist in and whoa, I've got a deep grab. He's not breaking it. You're not breaking this. I'm sorry. I have three to five seconds to do what I want. I can bring it in. I can tighten it up. I can loosen it, go further back and take a big bite, and I'm in. I'm here, you're not breaking this. My legs are wrapped around you, you're down. I'm in control. The bottom person now in the closed, who's got his training part in the closed guard is in control. That's the purpose of this particular video. One more time, no talking, we'll go right through it, and you'll see the execution in slow motion. I train slowly, I see things, I can move things, I'll never get hurt, and I'm very effective. We, at my age, and my division, are very effective, moving a little slower, a little more methodical, seeing things, looking for the second and third situation before the training partner knows what's up. So let's start again. Okay, here we go. Number one, close guard. Number two, bring them in. Number three, open the lapel. Number four, create an opportunity to take a big bite. Number five, make a little room. Number six, grab the tag. Big bite. Number seven, rotate the wrist. Bring them in. If I have to, and this is a really, really aggressive training partner, I'll trap the arm. I'll hug the head. Or if I trap the arm, I've also got a good situation. I now can work my scissor sweep. There you have it. The collar grab for the setup of the scissor sweep. See you tomorrow when we actually execute the scissor sweep. Yay!